It is about 1600 hours Zulu. I'm tuned into Radio Japan uh, via a relay site in France. It is a 500 kilowatt transmission, strong transmission, relaying, uh, excuse me, propagating very well here. Um, but 19 meters is beginning to close. And so band noise is, is creeping up, um, and now it's pretty considerable. And so I wanted to show a couple of ways that you can use the features on the ICOM R75 um, to uh, tackle band noise. Now, its narrow band filter is really not the best, at least the stock narrow band filter is not the best for broadcasting. Uh, it is very narrow. It works wonderfully for single sideband, um, but it just is not. It, it's it's too narrow for broadcasting, particularly if I'm listening uh, in a language that I don't understand or a language I understand fairly well, but not as well as my as my native language. So if I'm listening to a Russian station, for example, um, I really need to uh, get decent um, audio fidelity. Uh, so that I can make out what's being said. And so, rather than use the narrowband filter, the ICR75 has several features um, that you can use and several tricks you can use to reduce some of that noise and listen to your broadcast stations um, more comfortably. All right, so the first, and I think most important trick, at least it's the trick I use the most, is to turn off the automatic gain control. Now before you do this, you need to turn the RF gain all the way down to where you know, you're, you're hearing nothing and turn the volume all the way down and hold automatic gain control for a couple of seconds. And now turn your volume knob up pretty considerably. Um, oh, and don't do this with headphones, by the way, um, unless you would like to have bleeding eardrums. Now, after you turn the volume up slowly, ever so slowly, turn up the RF gain. To the point where you can hear what's being said, but you're not amplifying um, the band noise as well. This is a very sensitive receiver, um, so by no means do you need to always have the RF gain wide open. In fact, you shouldn't. You should always, once you're on a signal, play with the RF gain to get optimum reception. Now, another trick is to use these preamps that come with uh, the R75. The first preamp is um, not quite as profound. And it allows you to close the RF gain just a little bit more. The second preamp is louder. But as you can see, that louder preamp is getting me the best signal to noise ratio. All right. So let's say you don't want to play with the automatic gain control, or the automatic gain control trick is not working, and it doesn't always. You also have a uh, noise uh, reduction function if you have the R75 that ships with the DSP. Most of them do now, I think. Um, now, the, the noise reduction does work on this, but you have to be really careful with it because, so by holding noise reduction, you can set the level. If you turn it up too high, you get some distortion. And that's because uh, the threshold 
has um, gone up so high that it thinks your signal is noise as well. I find that I'm always using a noise reduction level between about 5 and about 3. Less is more with the noise reduction. Um, and it's not the best thing to use for band noise. The noise reduction uh, is best for atmospheric noise um, and man-made noise, essentially. Not atmospheric noise, I'm sorry. Um, so that is about it in terms of uh, how you can tackle noise without um, using any of the filter settings. I would also uh, invite you to uh, look up Exalted Carrier Single Sideband, um, a last resort um, way to tackle noise is to go into single sideband mode and using your uh, filters creatively and your gain creatively and tuning creatively, um, you can uh, eliminate quite a bit of noise of various kinds but you're going to sacrifice some audio fidelity, not as much as you would sacrifice using the narrow band filter settings um, on the ICOM R75. But um, it's still acceptable, and I find oftentimes for that really distant broadcast DX, um, uh, it's invaluable. But it's, it's uh, kind of complicated. Um, so I'm not going to go into it in this video. This video has already run over five minutes. Um, but I'm sure there are more tricks and tips out there that you guys have. Uh, post them below, uh, because I would love to know more ways to use the various bells and whistles this wonderful receiver has um, to get rid of that pesky noise. Um, I've been very pleased, though, with the features offered on this receiver. All right, thanks, guys, in 73.